Oh boy, another one of these smiling packages. I guess that's a smile. Well, it's a pretty huge package. Look at the size of that thing. Feels like it's got some weight over here, so let's, without any further ado, let's get this thing open. Okay, here it is. I think you've all seen these before. It is the Baco Lamp Lander Bushcraft Saw. I've never actually had one of these before, so I finally decided I was going to get one. I still want to get a Silky Saw also. Probably a Gone Boy. But for now, since this seems like it was the... Uh, one that everybody has and seems to rave about. I thought I'd give it a try. But this is how it came packaged. Just wanted to show it off really quick. Let's get it out of this package. I'm sure you've all seen them. Alright, this is the saw that I had picked up from Walmart and I was using it. So let's get that open. You gotta push the button in order to open it. I need both hands to do that though. So there that is. That's what it looks like when it's open. I haven't used it too much. But it didn't cut very well. I was actually having a pretty hard time cutting some like deadfall. So I, I was hoping this one would be better. So let's get it open. Well this opened much easier with this little push button compared to this one. Uh, let's see. Line the teeth of the blade up because the teeth are right here that's where those teeth start so it seems like this one like actual usable blade might be a little longer ever so slightly but, uh, hopefully this is good they say this one cuts on the on the push and the pull stroke so I'm hoping that makes life a little easier when doing some uh, little tiny like branch cutting and log cutting this one I think is fine it's just I think it only cuts on the pull stroke if I remember right and it seems like I don't know it seems like it's got some gnarly teeth but I was having a heck of a time sawing through some of that old hard wood out there so who knows this one might be thinner so maybe that'll help it go through the wood better. I don't know. So who knows. But I'll probably pack them both up and take them both. Just to do like a side by side. Try out and see what, which one I prefer. But I'm glad I finally got one. Seems it's like it's been a long time coming. I've been wanting to get one of these a long time ago. And they're not even expensive. It's just I always got something else or never got around to it but now I finally have one well I wonder if I can fit it down in my S4 little tactical pouch there that goes with my hidden woodsman haversack okay let's fold it up and see what it does yeah it fits down in there it's not a super easy fit to get it in there though but it worked Well, I know this isn't much of a review. It was just really an unboxing and a first first look. But so far I'm liking what I see. I hope these teeth are aggressive enough. This thing is about 16 inches long when it's open. You can see like to about the end of it here it goes to about 16. It has a leather like lanyard on it. And closed it is just over nine, about nine and a quarter maybe. And it's not super thick, maybe about, you can see that, maybe just over an inch thick. So, there well, they is. say these are uh, made in Sweden. I've heard that for a while now, and it does say design and quality Baco made in Sweden high quality steel so i hope it is as good as people say it is this is joe doomsday signing out